Yehoshua to Joshua. So, Jesus is the Latinized form of the Hebrew word Isa Iso, Latinized. So when it is Latinized, you can't think you're talking about a Jew. Because the Western nations, they didn't want to worship a Jew as a God. You see, so when you say Jesus, it sounds Roman or Greek. When you say Christ, it seems like Roman or Greek. It doesn't sound Jew. Peter sounds Roman or Greek. Paul sounds Roman or Greek. They have been twisting, translating names, changing pronunciation. Jesus said in his own Hebrew tongue, he said, thou art Kephas. Simon, Simon was his name. Thou art Kephas. And on this Kephas, on this rock, I'll build my church. Kephas in Hebrew means a rock or stone. Translated into Greek, Petros. Petros means rock or stone, from which we get the word Peter. Can you see? So we have Saint Peter in Rome. It should be Saint Simon in Rome, or Saint Kephas in Rome. But Peter sounds Greek, Roman. They translated it. Peter never heard the word Peter in his life. Jesus never heard the word Jesus in his life. Jesus Christ never heard the word Christ in his life. See, this is the psychology of subject peoples, suffering from inferiority complexes. You like to make the names, your name sound like that of your rulers. Saint Paul, the self-appointed 13th disciple of Jesus, self-appointed. He is no Paul, he's Saul. On the Damascus road, Jesus addresses him in the Hebrew tongue. He says, Saul, Saul. He didn't say Paul, Paul. Why persecutors are me? Why kick us self against the pricks? He said, Saul, Saul. Saul sounds Jewish, so they changed to Paul. Paul sounds Roman or Greek. And this is a continuous sickness. Changing names of people. You know, pronunciation of Hebrew names. Yusuf, they turn to Joseph. Jacob, they say Jacob. Yunus, they say Jonah. Isa is a Jesus. See, where there's no J, they put J. Everywhere where there's no J, they put J. In my country, they are, people are charged for jaywalking. These people are jaywalking into religion. You say jaywalking. You know what is jaywalking? You say you have these traffic crossings. You know those yellow zebra stripes that you're supposed to cross there. And if you don't, in my country, if you in the main streets, if you cross anywhere else, and if the policeman is on the other side, he will charge you for jaywalking. These people have jaywalked into religion. Where no J, they put J, 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 and now, you know, Jesus instead of Jesus, Isa. They did the same thing to Muhammad. Same thing. In the verses I read to you just now from Surah Saf, chapter 61, verse 6, Jesus is made to say, وَإِذَا Isa ibn Maryam, He says, Behold, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum. Most certainly, I am the messenger of God sent to you all. Who? The Jews, Bani Israel, sent to you. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayya min al-Tawrati. Confirming the revelation which came before me. As he says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law of the prophets. I am come not to destroy but to fulfill. He's confirming the law that which came before him. And giving glad tidings of a messenger to come after me whose name shall be Ahmad, which is another name for Muhammad. Ahmad and Muhammad are synonymous terms. Coming from the word hamd means praised. Muhammad, Ahmad, both have the word hum in praised one, which they say altogether lovely. But now, this is what Jesus is supposed to have said, according to the text of the Holy Quran. But when we search the Bible, we don't find the word there. We don't find Ahmad, we don't find Muhammad. What happened? Same. They have been translating names. So you can't find it anymore. But, I said, let us go to the Gospel of St. John. Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, verse 7. 
where it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, Jesus is speaking. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. And when he's come, he will convict the world in respect of sin and of judgment of sin because they believe not in me and so on and so on. The word he uses there is the word comforter. That the one that is coming, he must go. If he doesn't go, the other won't come. And that one who is coming, his name is comforter in the English language, in the English Bible, or counselor, or advocate, different, different Bibles. Advocate, counselor, comforter. So you say, where's Muhammad? I don't see Muhammad there. Comfort. But I says, you know, in the Afrikaans language, I read Afrikaans a little bit of the Bible. It says it's very beautiful. You know, the Afrikaans is so beautiful for this prophecy. Unfortunately, you know, except for two, I think, two or more persons, uh, you don't know the language, but you will appreciate, you'll be able to see something here in the pronunciation, the word, the language itself that in this prophecy there's something definite, that some definiteness, definiteness is, is proved. It says, Mar exa yala di var hate. Dit is for yala fuer de licht dat ek weg gaan. Want as ek nie weg gaan nie, sal die trooster nie, na yala kom nie. Four negatives in one verse, one sentence. No language on earth has that. Afrikaans is the youngest of the world's languages. It's unique. Every language is unique. But this is more unique than more others. Four negatives in one sentence to prove a positive. That if I don't go, he won't come. I must go before he comes. No language does that. Four times, no, 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 to say yes, yes, yes. Believe me. <laughs> so the word there is truest. So I'm asking the Christian, did Jesus speak English? Did he say comforter? He says no. Did he speak Afrikaans? He says no. So he didn't use the word trust. In Zulu, he says, he says, um tawazi, he says. I said, did he speak Zulu in the Zulu Bible? He says no. In the Arabic language, in the Arabic Bible, it says, Lakinni akulu lakum al haq, inna hu khairul lakum. An antalika, li anna hu in lam antalik. He uses the word muazzi. I said, did you speak Arabic? Jesus. No, no. So he didn't say muazzi. In two, the Bible, the New Testament is now translated into 2,000 different languages. And there are 2,000 different names. What did he say? There are 2,000 different candidates, can't you see? Because you have been translating one language to another. Every language you're translating. You say Muazzi in Arabic. You say Mpogazi in Zulu. You say Truest in Afrikaans. You say Comforter in English. Come on, come on. Every language has got a different word, different name. So what are we to do? He said the only alternative left to us is to reason, to deduce. We are asking them now, the Christian, who is this comforter or truester or umtogazi or muazzi? Who? Oh, they say it's the Holy Ghost. They say, and this is universal, all Christians say it's the Holy Ghost. I said, you see, here Jesus is making a condition. The condition is, he says, if I go not away, the comforter will not come. It's conditional. If I don't go, he won't come. But if I go, I will send him. But the coming of the Holy Ghost, according to the Christian scriptures, is not conditional. And I give you proof.